You are listening to Mining Stock Education, where you'll learn from the top leaders in the natural resource sector and uncover quality mining investment opportunities. It's been a few years of getting to this point. It's been a lot of hard work and probably at times it feels like there's a bit of a news vacuum because that work takes time. But now I think we're going to we're going to re- reach a cadence with our, our ability to get people excited. Uh, that we've been wanting to get to for for quite some time, so it's exciting. Welcome back to Mining Stock Education. I'm your host, Bill Powers, and today we're getting an update from our sponsor, Torque Resources. Perhaps you recall, as we featured Torque over the years, that they were pursuing a copper gold porphyry discovery at their Santa Cecilia project in Chile. Well, they got the first two holes back, and they came back very positive, in, in fact, even better than past historical holes on the project. So here to talk about it is Sean Wallace. He is the CEO as well as the chief geologist, Michael Hendrickson. Welcome, gentlemen, to the show. And Sean, could you break these two holes down? How do they compare to the conceptual model you were working with? <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Bill. Yeah, we had uh, a couple holes that had been drilled historically to go by. Um, and then we coupled that with an extensive uh, surface uh, work that we did, including geophysics, geochemistry, rock samples, etc. cetera. And, um, you know, we, we certainly had some assumptions that we made based on that. And uh, that helped inform where we placed these drill holes. And you know, we we had uh, identified uh, a little bit earlier that we the the the, uh, the initial holes, the, the historical holes that we acquired the project on, um, were in sort of a wall rock scenario. In other words, we hadn't found the juicy part of the porphyry system that had caused it of intrusion. And we theorized that you know the direction that we felt that we should go in to do that. And as you can see, evidenced by the second hole we drilled. So the first hole we drilled kind of gave us a similar look and feel to the to the historical hole but then as we continue to move uh to i believe the southeast uh we were able to um see the grade increase uh, particularly with the gold and the consistency of the grade you know and that whole bottom did mineralization you see the copper grades were increasing as we went lower um you know i i feel that it's reasonable to say that if we throw the hole for another few hundred meters we, we just continue to have more of the same so you know, we have a good wide intercept. We have a, the gold grade increasing nicely, the copper grade remaining consistent. Now, all in all, I would say, and I'll let Michael weigh in on this, and this is his expertise, but the, the system behaving very much in the way that we assumed that it would. And, and that's great for us because, you know, we, we put a lot of time and, and effort into sort of planning because, you know, drilling is expensive and it's, in, it's important. It's an important function it's where we create the most value. Uh, for our stakeholders, and um, yeah, I couldn't be happier with the results that we've got to date. They're they're precisely what we had hoped for. Michael, can you comment on these two holes, please? Yeah, definitely. I mean, look, we had a stated objective to find higher grade, and we did, right? So, you know, I don't have to go into a long geological discourse here. When you are looking for a higher grade causative intrusion, and you start drilling higher grade, and you're still within wall rock, what's it tell you? You're getting close. And so for me, I'm like, okay, clear vectors to the south, to the east, no doubt we got to keep drilling there. It's it's one of those results that comes back where I don't need to you know, explain in too much detail. I can just say, look, that's very clear. The other thing that I really liked about this is we brought the intercept upward towards the surface from the historical drill hole by 500 meters, and it's open upward, uh, downward and laterally. So that's obviously a good uh, a good position to be in. You know, we can drill shallower and see if that uh, that continued grade extends upward towards surface. Um, you know, for me, in the first two holes on a system of this size, I mean, this is a uh, you know world class swing here. I mean, it's an enormous system, and for us in in the first two holes to to make that positive leap to higher grade just speaks that we're on the right track. We've been disciplined. We've done the work. We targeted these holes based on the surface work that we did, and it's paid off. Um, so, you know, we're now in a position to drill, which is great. You know, I mean, for us, we've, we've done all that prep work, and it was extensive. It was, you know, that project hadn't seen anything since really 1990 in a systematic fashion, and we came in and did that work. And, you know, it's paying off in the first couple of drill holes, and, you know, I fully anticipate um, moving towards higher grade yet again as we resume drilling. Your strategic investor, Goldfields, uh, did they provide any commentary or feedback to you? Yeah, no, certainly. I mean, I, I spoke with Goldfields last night. Um, yeah, they're pleased with with what's happened. I mean, they're like, yeah, you got to, you've done, you've done well. You know, keep keep chasing, keep chasing. You know, and and you are closer. 
Uh, so I think that's really a critical feature. I mean, anybody who's explored in a big system like this knows that, you know, the, the probabilities of you, you hit the ringer on hole number one or two is is very remote. I think, um, you know, Goldfields is like, this looks good, you guys. Continue. You know, you're doing the right things. Sean, this project is on a major uh, copper, gold, porphyry belt. How do these grades that you hit uh, compare to the deposits around you? You know, it's kind of hard to make those comparisons now, but I say it may, it's a good comparison. If you lo look over at, say, Caspiche, which is the nearest one, um, and they're sort of wall rock or, or not, they found their cause of intrusion. And, it, you know, it's a few hundred meters wide uh, within a, you know, a bigger area uh, drilling similar stuff uh, to what we found. So I think the analog of Caspiche is, is very, very relevant here. I mean, it's part of the same system, so it better. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it's just more evidence that we're on to the right thing, that, th that that causative intrusion does exist. I mean, again, as Mike pointed out, anyone who's um, explored these things extensively, and I've been fortunate enough to have been part of a number of big copper gold porphyry stories in my career, um, this is how the evolution of these things uh, happens. And, and so, yeah, I think it compares uh, very favorably to, to anything that we've had the opportunity to study in, in the neighboring region. So targeting that causative intrusion, is that when this project could be considered de-risked from an investor standpoint in terms of when you'll really begin to see excitement? Uh, well, certainly. I think, you know, again, you know, we're not in a great market right now, obviously. I mean, we don't need to go on about that. Everyone knows it. Um, I think, you know, in a better market, be just the progress we just made, we would have this thing on fire. But um, the, the uh, because it's our, what our work shows is that we're getting closer to it. And Again, as I said before, everyone knows that it's going to exist. You know, the the the, the big de-risking will be how close is that to surface and how big is it? And that's really what's going to make this from a, from a great project, which is, I think, the, our worst case scenario to an amazing project, to a, to a game changer for the whole region. I mean, we do have the opportunity to be that deposit, that discovery. Michael, are you going to be doing uh, desktop work over the Chilean winter before you can bring the drills back out? Yeah, and obviously we've got some work to do based on the drilling and, and you know, we've been going so hard for, for the months that we've had access to from December of last year straight through until the end of May. Um, so we're actually just kind of taking a breather and looking at what we've actually accomplished and, and getting ourselves ready to to put the next holes into the project. I mean, our job now is to is to ensure that, you know, not only do we continue thinking about Cerro del Medio and that causative intrusion, but, you know, look, there's a lot of great targets further to the east within a kilometer and a half of Caspiche. Uh, these are porphyries that are mineralized on surface. We had a news release out uh, not too long ago, and, you know, these are pretty nice grades that you're seeing right on surface. So, you know, I think we want to develop a, a a drill program that strategically is swinging across a number of targets while we still pursue that causative intrusion at Cerro del Medio. And, you know, I think each target that we drill could be the one, you know, where I, I don't know where it's going to be, where that center of mass will be yet. But, you know, we certainly need to drill across them because, you know, each one of them has that opportunity to become a Caspiche. John, you also have a discovery at the Margarita Iron Oxide Copper Gold Project. Will the drills be turning there next before you go back to Santa Cecilia? Oh yeah, drilling at uh, Margarita is imminent. I believe you know sometime this week we'll, we'll start. Uh, we'll call our our first hole this uh, third program of ours. So you know we're really excited about that too. You know we got a lot going on. So you know even though Mike said you know you're going to go back and do some desktop study, we're not, we allow, we're we're going to be hard at work. Our team's also engaged and hard at work at getting and going out and executing that Margarita pro uh, program. Um, so I, I'm personally really, really excited about the Margarita program. I think that, you know, that one has reached the stage now where it's at that critical tipping point. And I think the the kind of exploration that we're going to be able to do there now, um, you know, it's all down to drilling now. We, again, just like Santa Cecilia, um, we've done all the work that you can do at surface and we know what our targets are. We, you know, we've had the benefit of two programs that Margarita, we, we understand the system, I think, as well as anyone could given the data we have. And uh, we've got a clear uh, sort of path to, to, to making uh, some additional discoveries there. So, no, absolutely, that's a, that's a fantastic thing. And that, that program will go over, you know, the next couple months and get the results in. And then, boom, we'll be right back at Santa Cecilia again. So I think it's a, it's a, a good time for investors to start paying keen attention to what we're up to. Because, as I mentioned, both projects have been fully sort of ground truth, if you will, in terms of knowing 
you know, getting the data we need from the surface to help uh, inform what we do going uh, some trading. And um, it, now all our capital, all our effort is going to be focused on drill holes. And everybody knows it's the drill holes and the results from them that create the most value. It's been a few years of getting to this point. It's been a lot of hard work and probably at times it feels like there's a bit of a news vacuum because that work takes time. But now I think we're going to we're going to reach, reach a cadence with our our ability to get people excited uh, that we've been wanting to get to for, for quite some time. So it's exciting. Michael, final thoughts? Yeah, look, as Sean said, we're Catalyst Rich moving forward with the drill. You know, um, Margarita first results we're hoping out, uh, you know, mid September, and then those will continue through October, likely into November, and then straight back to Santa Cecilia and get the drill turning again. So, um, you know, it's. It's great to be on a couple of projects where, you know, you're you're drilling into systems that are productive, you know, and our job is to just find that high grade uh, on both, truth be told. So looking forward to the next bunch of months. Work trades under T-O-R-Q on the Venture Exchange in Toronto and in the States, you can find it under the ticker T-R-B as in boy, M-F. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on the show today and providing this update. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill.